guys what's up welcome back to my channel i am lori if you are new here and today i'm actually going to be filming a day in the life of a nurse practitioner in the nursing home setting i have said before on my channel that i work in primary care and i do multiple different things i actually work in the nursing home setting i do wound care and i also go to the office every now and then and then i run in the hospital one week in a month so today i am actually going to the nursing home i'm seeing patients in the nursing home today today is today's a third oh today's a 30th wow january 30th thursday and on thursdays i actually go to one nursing home and i stay there all day it is approximately like an hour away from my house so i just stay there and see all the patients that we have and i'm gonna just get my lunch together <music> So it's 10 a.m. now and I'm heading out and the beauty about working primary care is that uh, you start working whatever time you want to start work. It's nursing home so you can pretty much go see the patients whatever time you want. My only thing is when I do like my wound care, I go at a set time to the building. One of the drawbacks and one of the negatives of working primary care and in a nursing home setting is the amount of driving that you do. You have to drive a significant amount because you're going between nursing homes, nursing homes, nursing homes. And for me, I actually go to eight different nursing homes because some of those nursing homes, I only see patients for wound care and then some of them I see patients for regular visits. I just made it to work, it's 11.06. I literally just pulled up and heading in. since around 11 it's now 1 p.m. I actually have two new admissions on the acute care side and typically what happens is acute care patients are just here for rehab so sometimes they're not here for a long period of time but when there's a new admission at any facility we have 72 hours per Medicaid guidelines to see these patients to have an initial encounter with them and both of my patients were admitted one was admitted yesterday one was admitted the day before so we have to see them within a 72 hour period or medicaid don't pay don't pay you so these are little things that you kind of have to know when you are a np or you're in this position now i have long-term care residents here also but if nothing is going on with them acutely i don't have to see them because i have already seen them for the month biggest biggest part of today when we get new admission is going through all the records and doing the history and the physical that's the biggest part that takes the most time i look over lab results to see if anything is going on we do see patients on the memory care side um, so i'm currently in the memory care unit seeing a couple of patients so the memory care unit patients have dementia, Alzheimer's, and we just manage them medically. Psych um, does the other management for them. There's a new patient here that we've never seen before, and it's just a little difficult to get information, especially because these patients have memory loss. So I have to kind of dig through, call family. Sometimes you call and you know there's no response, so you kind of have to just do the best you can do to do. This. And unfortunately on the memory care unit there's no computer charting it is paper charting so I am signing I'm signing orders paper on paper writing my orders on paper signing my orders on paper everything is on paper on this unit this makes it a little bit more difficult and harder to do it what my boss recommends doing what he prefer for me to do and what he does we actually type out our progress notes on our HMPs instead of handwrite them which is good so I just sit down type it out in word print it out and put it in the patient's chart the other side actually when I first started was also paper and listen to my agony when I first started I was like what it is 2019 at the time it was 2019 who the heck why are we still doing paper charting and paper writing orders like no so I'm just checking in with you guys it is actually 3 p.m and I just had lunch I just had my salad I've actually seen seven patients 
because the thing is when you're in a nursing home setting and you are on site anything that happens because they don't have like a physician in the building or np in the building even if it's not my patient if something is going on and they ask you to come check a patient out or to do something i go so in between like my charting and stuff i'm stopped to see a patient especially when it comes on to wound care, when wound care, they call me. So whether it's my patient or not, we are the wound care team, so we have to go see those wound care patients. And I'm on site, so a lot of the nurses will ask me if a new admission come in, what they should use to treat a patient's wound. I saw 12 patients, but three of those patients were actually new admissions. So typically when it's a new admission, it is customary to see less patients because the new admissions take a little longer time to see. So that's it, I'm done for the day. Just made it back to my car, it is 6.20. I started at roughly around 10.30, 11. So I did pretty much an eight hour day today. I will definitely catch you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.